Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here with my Azure Standard Haul. This is my second Azure Standard Haul, so I thought I would try some different things out this time. I um, was really excited again to place my order. I'm really getting comfortable with the pickup process and all of that. Again, the drop that I belong to picks up every two weeks. So as long as we're needing some different supplies and things from Azure Standard, we'll probably have two of these hauls a month and probably at least one, between one and two a month. This, again, is my second haul, and I'm really excited with some of the items that I picked out this time. So I'll go ahead and share with you first all of these items here in the back. We love our pasta around here and our different pasta dishes, so I thought I would try out the Azure Standard Organic Pastas. So they have them in a bunch of different varieties, and I decided to get a bag of each one. Each bag is uh, two and a half pounds. So I got a bag of rigatoni, uh, ditalini, which I'll be making a recipe um, with this one really soon, some orzo, my husband's favorite for chicken soup, penne, also my husband's favorite for any of the casserole type dishes that I make, the Italian pasta casseroles and stuff. Um, medium shells, uh, radiatory, or radiatory, I'm sorry. Um, sort of like a, a spiral, but a little bit different. And then we've got fusilli, which this one is a spiral pasta. And then frigola, which is a lot like a pepe de cini, the little teeny tiny, teeny tiny little pasta, um, shapes there. So I'm super excited to try out their pasta. I think it'll be really good so far. I've been really happy with all of their products and I just love that everything's organic and the packaging is really lovely. So I'm excited to try out all that pasta. This is one item I ordered last time and they were out but they had it this time. This is tomato powder. I decided to pick up two containers of it since last time it was out of stock. This I'll be using to add to soups and broths and things if I want to give them a little of that tomatoey depth. So I'm excited to try that out. I picked up some maple sugar for some of my holiday baking. And this is another new product, new for me. I've never worked with succinant before. Um, it is a kind of sugar. It is made from cane juice and it, again, it's just kind of a sugar but one that I really wanted to experiment with. So I picked up a bag of that. I got a gallon of old fashioned molasses. Again, this is organic, a nice big jug here. I make a lot of molasses based recipes throughout the fall and winter. So I'm sure I will go through this gallon here. Very excited to have that. And then also I decided just to try out their organic cane sugar. So this is just, again, regular cane sugar, but it's organic and I'll just be using that in my different baking recipes. I also tried this time a few of their dairy and frozen items. I was excited to give those a try. This is the Alexander Family Farm Whole Milk. It says it has an extra cream top, so eager to try that out in my coffee. We do not use a ton of milk around here, specifically just for baking and then in my morning coffee. So, um, and sometimes on top of our oatmeal. So very excited to try that out. And I love chocolate milk. I always get a little bottle when I do my grocery hauls. So I thought I would try out this brand of chocolate milk. I picked up some yams here and some of the Mother's Choice butter. We've had this before. It is a product of Oregon and some of my local stores around here also sell this. So just some sweet cream butter. I picked up four packages of these mini um, baking muffin cups. I love making miniature cupcakes this time of year. So I picked up a bunch of those for fall baking. Last time I picked up cinnamon. This time I figured I would get ginger and cloves, again, to add to my holiday baking supplies. And then here are some of the frozen items I picked out. Uh, just some of their vegetables, the frozen vegetables by Snowpack. So I picked up a bag of mixed veggies, which I use in a bunch of different recipes, frozen corn, frozen blueberries. I use my peas and carrots in my shepherd's pie and in my uh, tater tot casserole, and my green peas in a bunch of my casseroles. And then I also picked up these organic cottage fries. They look like little, I don't know, little potato-y uh, wedges. Maybe they'll be like a cross between a french fry and a, and a potato uh, chip or something. I don't know. But they look delicious, so I thought I'd give those a try. Then this here is an item that I saw on another person's Azure Standard Haul, and I was really excited to learn about this item. I do not eat much ramen around here. Standard ramen is uh, typically uh, contaminated or contains shellfish, and that's something I'm allergic to. So I don't eat your traditional uh, ramen noodles. 
And so I thought these vegan ramen noodles might be something that I could have. So this is called Mr. McDougal's Vegan Ramen in Chicken Flavor. So I'm not a vegan, but again, because of my allergies, I just have to be uh, careful. It does say main a facility that uses peanuts and other food allergens, but the ingredients don't have any of the things that I'm allergic to. So we will give this a try and see if it's good. I got a six pack. I was really excited that this was included in my order earlier in the week. It had been sold out and was showing that it wouldn't arrive, but looks like they restocked just in time. So very excited to get to try that out. I haven't had ramen in many years. So and I do love the flavor of ramen. So I'm excited to try that one out. And then here I have some tomato products that I was really excited about. I love using different canned tomato products in my cooking. The problem with canned tomatoes is they do not last very long in the pantry because uh, the acid in the tomato can kind of uh, corrupt the can that it's stored in uh, after a little while. So they don't last very long. So I thought, how cool that they made these in glass jars and perhaps it would last a little bit longer. These are also 100% organic, sweet and pure from Italy, it says. These are Jovial brand. So I got a six pack of the crushed tomatoes and these are the diced tomatoes. And it looks like the best by date is nine of 23. So significantly longer amount of time than some of the canned tomato products that I've been buying for my pantry. So really excited again to see if this product works for uh, what I use them for and how they taste and all that and also I think it'll just be nice that they're in glass versus tin uh, into the uh, cans because the tomatoes again being acidic sometimes will take on a little bit of a canned flavor sort of a metallic flavor and I don't believe that the glass jars will do that so very excited about that not that I'm ready to give up canned tomatoes anytime soon, but if there's an alternative and it works out good and it's cost effective, then I think I'm uh, going to enjoy that. So eager to try that out. I also picked up this can here of dog food. This is beef dinner with brown rice and carrots. Thought I would get my dog to treat with our Azure order as well. And then we have two final items here, sort of in the bulk category here. This is a 25 pound bag of Thai jasmine rice. This is one of our favorite types of rice, jasmine rice, and it's organic. So this was kind of an investment item here. I believe it was $40 for this, but um, being organic and uh, wanting to get a, a really good quality of rice, I thought it was worth it. So. We got this uh, jasmine rice, organic jasmine rice. And then also one more bag, a 25 pound bag of hard red wheat. My uh, wheat berry grinders have arrived and I'm just getting ready to try turning these into bread and we'll see how that goes. So I'm excited to have more of that in stock for all of my baking needs. And that is what I picked out from Azure Standard this uh, time around. And I'm very eager to try everything and I just love how it all comes. It's very easy to go pick up. I love the packaging and I love the selection of organic products that they have. So that is my Azure Standard order for this week. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.